Why aren't you wearing an ionizer? We have positive and negative air ions. A positive ion carries a positive electrical charge. It forms when an atom or molecule loses an electron. It has more protons than electrons and we use a plus mark. A negative air ion carries a negative electrical charge. It forms when an atom or molecule loses a proton. It has more electrons than protons. We use a negative mark. Your breath contains 20 to 50,000 negative ions from evaporated water. The modern home has between 0 and 500 ions. Your cell phone emits 300 positive ions. UV light emits negative ions, and those ions help deactivate viruses and bacteria. Electronics drastically reduce total negative ion density within the room, so it emits positive ions and then the negative ions start to go away. Air pollution can have 50,000 positive ions. Not good. On days that it rains, you will get positive ions before it starts raining. During the rain, you'll actually get negative ions. After it stops raining, you'll have both positive and negative ions. So even though within the home you have low ions, if you go right to your backyard, you'll actually have an increase in total air ions. House plants themselves emit ions. Not only that, you can buy an electrical device that increases that number drastically. Both hot and cold water showers produce ions. 2,000 ions at the beach. The forests tend to have equal number of positive and negative ions. Waterfalls are where you find the most ions. You can get 30,000 negative ions at a waterfall. So what are electronic air ionizers? They are devices that recreate air ions found in nature. They're both an air and surface cleaner. They remove particulate matter, volatile organic compounds. They destroy viruses and bacteria. They come in bipolar, negative with positive plate, and negative versions. There are different mechanisms in which they produce ions which yield different results. In the top right photo, you'll see an ionizer and you can see how the ion density changes depending where you're at near the ionizer. In the bottom right corner, you'll see different types of sub-ions. Ionizer byproducts. Some ionizers produce ozone or intermediate volatile organic compounds. So it's always important to look for independent data to confirm your ionizer does not do such things. The Japan Association of Ion Research and Application, they measure for these things. So if you see this certificate on your device, you know it's legit. Takoya ionizer demonstration. So you can see here, ions are being emitted from the ionizer. They attach themselves to particles in the air. Now the air is clean. Ionizer case history. Here we have real world examples of an ionizer cleaning the air. It can be volatile organic compounds, it can be odors, it can be tobacco smoke. There's plenty of examples here to look at. Air ion health benefits. This study looked at several hundred studies and what they found was not one single study where negative ions cause health issues. In fact, they found many studies that showed how tremendous they can help with a person's health more air ion benefits here sharp has invested millions of dollars to research it for allergens bacteria fungi viruses odors pet smells hair beautifying effects skin beautifying effects and efficiency proven in clinical trials in which they destroyed viruses so what are necklace body worn ionizers it's just a miniature ionizer you wear somewhere on your body usually as a necklace and the ions emitted protect your breathing area so one of the issues with a body-worn ionizer is sometimes the ions are weak and they don't reach your breathing area. So this is important to have certification so you know the ions are actually there. As you can see in the second image, the ions do exist, but they never reach your breathing area. Wearable ionizer study. I really like this study because it shows four ionizers having four completely different results. That's why it's important to have certification. If we look at AC4, which is an air tamer model, you can see absolutely no ozone is emitted. Wine products ionizer. I just put this here so you can get an idea of how it would look. 
where ionizer. So you can see here they have independent data that shows it eliminates viruses, particulate matter, and volatile organic compounds. Ion ion ionizer. So you can see here in a 60 liter box, it removed all of the particulate matter in 10 minutes. Vinci ionizer smoke removal test. So you can see here an ionizer working in the real world to remove smoke. Air tamer ionizer. So you can see here they have independent data that shows it removes viruses, smoke, and reduces volatile organic compounds. Air Vita ionizer. Again, it's the same here. They have data that shows it removes viruses, particulate matter, pollen, bacteria, and volatile organic compounds. We all know that surgical masks aren't perfect. But if you wear an ionizer with a surgical mask, you reduce the chances of inhaling a virus by 99 and 7 tenths percent. Ionizer with a face mask study. So in this study, a mannequin wore a dust mask or an N95 with and without an ionizer. As you can see in the chart, when the ionizer was turned on, the particles that leaked through were basically zero. How does an ionizer deactivate allergens? One of the most common unknown things about an ionizer is it doesn't just remove particles from the air, it also prevents your body from inhaling it. It bonds with the allergens, it chemically infects it so your body won't inhale it. How does an ionizer deactivate a virus? The ions attack the cell wall of the virus. Once they reach the cell membrane, the virus has been deactivated. So even if you inhaled the virus particles, you wouldn't get infected. Air ions range a lot in size. Ions from an electronic air ionizer could be one one thousandth of a micrometer compared to a coronavirus, which is a tenth of a micrometer. So imagine millions of ions attacking coronavirus. It's going to win. Plasma cluster ionizer SARS-CoV-2 report. In this study, they wanted to see if an ionizer can stop a virus in real time. So for 30 seconds, they shot virus particles in a very small container and then it collected the you know particles that remain and as you can see the virus reduced by 91 percent ionizers can stop virus particles in real time i was really curious if a body-worn ionizer can stop a covid cough in real time so i looked at two studies the first study said you can get a covid infection if you inhale between 20 and 530 plaque forming units someone talking at face height would admit 100 plaque forming units. Someone with a COVID cough would admit 1,000 plaque forming units. Now, another ionizer study showed that in 30 seconds it eliminated thousands of plaque forming units. And I'm looking at these numbers. When I'm looking at these charts, what do I see? I believe it would stop a COVID cough in real time. Interesting academic studies that can be linked. The first study showed when you sleep and you inhale negative ions, IgA increases. The second study said if you increase IgA, you will have a response to allergens in the air. The third study showed how important IgA is in fighting off COVID. The fourth study showed that when you have a negative molecule, you can prevent the virus from bonding to your body and you won't get sick. Personal experiences with ionizers. For me, it completely got rid of my seasonal allergies. I no longer take any medication. It also prevents me from having an allergic reaction to certain strains of cannabis. Ionizers work so much better for me without a face mask. Trust me, like I've worn with and without and for whatever reason, they work better when I'm not wearing a mask. They're also an air conditioner. What I mean by that is a study showed that when you are inhaling ions, you won't have the stress markers associated with heat and I've noticed this where it can be extremely warm in my room and I won't sweat because I'm wearing it in an ionizer. It can also prevent freeze headaches. I found this out by accident. I thought it was pretty cool. It got rid of my hair dandruff and it notably improved my blood pressure. Guinea pig flu ionizer study. Now this one should absolutely intrigue you. The name of this study is Ionizing Air Affects Influenza Virus Infectivity and Prevents Airborne Transmission. So in this study, they took guinea pigs. Some had the flu, some did not have the flu, and they put the ionizer in between to see if the healthy guinea pig would get sick. So this is the setup as you can see, and they're right next to each other, and they use an ionizer, and the ions were admitted, 
and the healthy guinea pig did not get sick. And when they turned off the ionizer, guess what happened? It got sick. So this is real world data of an ionizer preventing airborne viral sickness. Be careful researching your ionizers. If you Google it, you're going to get so much inaccurate information. Especially be careful from companies that sell an inferior technology. Certified air ionizers are extremely safe and rigorously tested. Ionizers clean the air and surface of both pathogens and pollutants. Inhaling air ions is basically inhaling air vitamins. So the question I have to ask you, why aren't you wearing an ionizer?